it's Jen Shahadi and I'm here on day two of the main event at the WSOP. Yesterday, uh, or two days ago, um, my first table, I, I finished it with just a little bit more than I started with. And I would say it was a very intellectually challenging table. The thing about the main event is that you have elite players at your table and you have recreational players, but it's not like the average recreational player. Sometimes it's somebody who really doesn't play a lot of poker. Today, it's like, this table is like maybe technically um, tougher than my starting table, but like intellectually it's easier because it seems like people are playing a little bit more standard and I've also had like a great level. So uh, run, I think running it up to like about double what I started with. So yeah, it's going great so far today. Yeah, I just won a, a big hand where I opened under the gun and the small blind uh, three bet kind of on the smaller side. And then the flop was queen eight six with two hearts. He, uh, he actually checked. So I bet um, about third and he called kind of quickly. And then on the jack of offsuit jack uh, turn, he check called again rather quickly. And then he check folded the river. It was a blank, it was a four of diamonds. And he seemed really upset, like he was making some kind of big hero fold. And then he told me that he didn't have a pair. So <laughs> I guess he had ace king and just thought like he, he should be calling there, but he, I, he definitely shouldn't be calling there, I don't think. And uh, especially I, I jammed all in for like a little over five, so. And I did have a good hand, so. I don't feel like it's gonna be easy for him to call with no pair to a, a smaller bet size, really. He just might have kept us off on break for another five minutes. <laughs> I haven't played a tournament for two years now, decided to play the main event uh, because it's so exciting. And then the first day I had two really tough tables but built my stack up 220 and now I'm playing the second day and I thought I had a quite a nice and easy table and I'm down to 80. So you never know what's happening. I'm just grinding it out now, a little bit card dead, waiting for the good spots and then I'm back in the mix. I started a main event yesterday, I had a really tough table, I think the average age was like below 30, so a lot of uh, young wizards everywhere, so I wasn't really happy with that. I had a roller coaster today, I was up to 135 really early, but then, uh, you know, there was a lot of big pots going on all the, all the day and I ended up with 39, so it could have been better, but um, you know, it's still plenty of uh, big blinds, so I'm happy to be still in there. There was a hand where under the gun opens 1,200. And I have kings on a cutoff, I make it 4,000, and this guy goes 17k, so a huge 4-bet. And I just fold kings and he has aces, so 3-bet folding uh, with 100 bigs kings and being right, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't happen too often. 